Oh yeah. Oh, oh that's actually the best I've had. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something a little weird. We're out here doing something Jake and Dustin have both wanted to do for a very long time. Not me. Is catch sand dabs. We're fishing for sand dabs, flounder, sole. We're at about 200 feet of water off the coast, Northern California. Let's see what happens. Devin's boat's looking all fly. We've been working on it a bunch. If you guys didn't check out our last video, make sure you check it out. It was just a little bit of an update, but we got the cabin done all nice here. Made some boxes out of fiberglass did some EVA snow camo, did the fish wells down here as well. We're gonna build a cabin for this thing. Betsy is back, baby. The 79 is gonna catch a lot of fish this year. Wait for these big tuna. Can't wait. Stoked. All right, we're fishing this larger sabiki for like mackerel, and we're gonna tip it with squid, drop it down. We are 230 right now, so 230 feet. Drop it down, kind of let the current drag you, so these kind of lay flat. And then every little bite, you just wanna give it a little, little hook set. And you want that whole stringer to be full of sand dabs before you reel it up. I am all twisted up in the sabiki rig right now. Could have been fishing for halibut. Jake said nope. It's time for the sand dabs. So we're out here and now I'm twisted up in the sabiki. So we're putting on the little strips of squid. Jake just cut every hook in the sabiki. We're so pumped to be back on the water. I can't remember the last time that we fished on this boat. I think the last time we fished off this boat was when we caught those big bluefin tuna, and that was back in November. If you guys didn't check that video, make sure you check it out. It's probably one of our better videos. But we've not been out on the water at all, so it feels really good to be out here on the ocean. It's a little bit windy today, but the swell is nice. All right, uh, we're dropping in. We're dropping in. it out. I don't know about this, guys. I think Jake shysted us. All right, guys, we're going to move spots here. Didn't catch anything at the first spot. We really trusted Jake to put us on the fish. And if he doesn't, he's going overboard for sure, because we could have been catching halibut today, but he said we could catch 100 sand dabs. He did. He did. He, he really did. did. We fished about 200 foot of water. Nothing there. We're just going to keep looking for sandy bottoms. We're all rigged up now, so I'm just going to drop down and we'll be pulling up full stacks of sabikis. I mean, full stacks of sand dabs on the sabikis. Full stringers. Full stringers. Says the king. But check this out, though. Mighty fine job we did here. Nice little sea deck on the thing. Put the graph right there for the big guy. He's got a nice little box he's sitting on. That's handcrafted D&D &D Fishing Co. right there. You can't beat it. This one right here. The bench we're sitting on, handcrafted. We also put some EVA foam up here. There used to be a white blown out upholstered cushion. It was dirty, nasty, got rid of it. Put some of that EVA foam in the front. The boys are fishing. I'm gonna start fishing with them. Oh, bite. Actually? Actually yep. got dumped. Yep. yep. You I'm getting dumb. I said a bunch of little bites, set hook on them. Not really feeling anymore. If I get a, no more bites in a couple minutes, I'm just gonna reel in, check, see what I got. Oop, Devin just got tanked. You see that? <laughs> yeah, you got him. Oh, oh yeah, I'm loaded. Yeah. Got on the camera. It's on. Yeah, it feels like I'm loaded up with these things. Oh, you got a little lighter. Yeah, I think so. There's definitely some on here though. It's not light. Oh, it's getting lighter though. But no, there's something digging. There's something there. Yeah, it's digging for sure. No limit on these sand dabs. And there's no size limit, so you can pretty much. Dab. Nice dab. Nice dab. That's a stud. It's my first sand dab. So it shows all the baits I got picked off. So it looks like there's three or four of them picked off. And I was feeling a bunch of different bites. And then finally I lifted up and I felt this guy on there. It's pretty cool, it's my first sand dab. Just got a nice slow drift going on right now. We each have, 
I have 16 ounces. Devin, you have 16? Yeah, I think we're all running 16. We're, I think we're all 16s right now. Oh, there's a bite. Yeah, he's on. He's on, yeah. I got oh, one on. I just got smoked. I got one on. I got one on for sure. Just one. This one though? My first sand dab right there. Got baits missing. They're just on the bottom there. I was getting tanked. These things are crazy. They're almost like see-through. I'll see if I can show you guys. Check that thing out. It's like see-through. I can almost see through it right now, like through the camera. Crazy. Kind of like a halibut. They got crazy eyes on the top of their head. Just a flat little fish right there. Good eating too, right? Super good. Yeah, you take like the head off and the guts and you fry the whole thing just like that. Just like a little baby halibut. Cool fish. That's a stud. Jake, I guess you weren't wrong. There's a normal size one. We're dabbing out. Dude. There we go. Another little sand dab. So what we're planning to do with some of these, like these smaller size ones, just freeze them flat in a vacuum bag, and then as soon as that deep water rockfish opens up, we're gonna go out and drop these down on like a trap rig, and hopefully we can catch some giant link cut on these guys. Weird little creatures. I think I got one on, I had a good bite, but then it got light as I was reeling up here. I've noticed it gets like light and heavy, light and it, heavy. It might be a, a small one, or I might have nothing. I don't think so. Oh, no, I got one. Yep. That was a real little one. I caught the nursery fish right there. That's not actually that small, though. Really? That's Lincoln candy. That is a small one of the day. Jake's in. Come on, Dev, get in so we can have a triple. Yep. Nice. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. There you go. There's another little sand dab. Well, we got five now? Five That's or six? Five. Five sandies. Getting sandy, my guy. This is actually super fun. Even though it's super easy, it's actually really fun. So I notice when I'm getting bit, is when that weight is actually off of the bottom. It's not dragging in the sand. It's maybe like six inches to a foot off the bottom is when I'm noticing most of my bites right now. I didn't even feel this one, honestly. To be honest, that's a baby baby. With Dustin's old age, he's starting to lose feeling. <laughs> oh boy, that is a monster. Oh, it's just really heavy. No, oh, that's heavy. Ah, get your own. Another one bites the dust. Oh, I was getting smoked. Oh yeah, all your squid's gone. Supposedly there's millions of these things just at the bottom, just a bunch of little halibut cruising around. Jake was saying it's like the third most plentiful fish in the ocean. I don't know how true that is, but that's what he's saying. So there should be millions of these little guys. See if Jake's actually got one here. Oh yeah, look at that sand dab. Want well, I'm gonna bite? Easy? Yeah. Last time I touched one of those things, it latched onto my thumb, bro. Come on, grab them. No, I was gilling a giant lingcod. Grab them. Showing fish and game all the fish. And I reached out, I felt something like crush my thumb. Stuck my hand out and there was one of those giant ones wrapped all the way around my thumb. See what? Another one. Not a giant, but it's a dab. Things are getting crazy. Busted out the electric reel. We're in about 300 now. We want to see what's down there. We got doubles. Feeling yeah, pretty sure. 300 feet's a long way to reel in. That's why Devin's dropping the electric reel down. 300 foot of water. That is another little sand dab right there. Getting a bite? Another little sand dab going in the box. Me and Devin both got bites at the same time as soon as we dropped in. We're just messing around. We really never have done this before. This is the first time us ever doing this. Jake, have you actually ever done this? No, yeah, so none of us have actually done this. So we're just winging it out here. We fished 200, we fished 250, now we're in 300. We're gonna see which depth is the best. And then we're gonna fish there most of the day. One sand dab in 300 foot of water. So we are going to move 
and see if we catch some more. We want to find like a school of them that we're stacking up the sabiki with the sand dabs because I think we have 10 right now. It's not what we wanted to catch. We wanted to catch like hundreds of these things. Load up the whole boat and be swimming in sand dabs. Caught red handed. Nap time, baby. Sleeping in the cabin. Dropping down once again. Got some fresh squid on the sabiki. I don't feel too confident about this. We are way out here now, boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is way too deep to be doing this. Oh yeah, that's a doozer! That's a doozer! That's a nice little dab on Jake's. Oh yeah, this thing's tugging. This might be a boon. It's literally fighting. It's like back, oh it's Dustin. I got Dustin, huh? Yep, got one. Another little dab. I guess they're deep. I never would have thought. Jake's got one hooked up. We had a little bit of a tangle. Got him. Got one? Yep. <laughs> Dev's got one on the electric here. Jake's got two. Nice. Jake's got a two for on the Sandy. This one, little guy. Little tiny dabber. Nice. Jake's got a, a dual. Double good one. Dev's got a nice small one. I promise you one thing, it's a lot easier with that electric reel. Especially when you're fishing that 400 foot range. So before this trip, everybody's been catching a lot of halibut in the bay. But Jake really wanted to come do this. And he finally talked Dustin and I coming out here and doing this. But I'll give it to him. He wasn't wrong. We're finding the fish in deep water. It's really a blast. Oh, yeah, we got this... another one on right here. We had a really bad tangle in two of the rods. We were getting that undone. Devin just lost one. Pretty sure we're on right here with one or two. Oh yeah, we got one. That's a good one. There we go, another one right there. We had a bunch on. Sabiki has the squid gone there. But we're starting to load up the box now. Whoop. Little guy. Oh well. Another little sand dab. We're sure you need to. Go to the good camera. ones. Sand dab for guys. Top of Yep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good one. God. Dustin's in one over here. I was reeling 400 feet deep, dude. As soon as we hit bottom on all rods, it's just going off. This is super, super fun. Dustin just caught this one. Not a bad fish. Dev and I are doubled up. That's a good one. Nice. The top, the top one. That Devin's got a stud, Dustin. Oh, he does. Good one. Not as big as the one we caught this morning, though. No. no. Double ups on the sand dab. Pretty we're good sand dab. It was definitely a good idea to push out to this deeper water because we were finding them shallower, but it was they weren't as plentiful. And the size out here is definitely bigger. You in? Yeah, he's in. Me too. Yep. yep. This is badass, dude. You liking it? It's cool. Look at that thing going off. Look at it going off. Let's get triples, baby. All right, I'm coming. Got double. You got a double? Little double? Chase got double. This is on. Go right. I got doubles. I got one on right now. <laughs> doubles, I'm in. baby. I'm in. I'm in. I loaded, loaded. This is an absolute blast. I got a double. Two pretty good fish. Jake got a double. Two pretty good fish. Dustin's in. He might be loaded. Another sand dab here. So Jake had doubles. Devin had doubles. I had a single. 
lost my weight. Oh, yeah. See those bites, guys? It's like a little bluegill. All those pumps right there, we're going to reel this guy in right here in a second. Jake's just letting it load up, hopefully with a couple more on and just one. Time, Han Solo. You look pretty loaded pretty good there. Oh, yeah. Another dab. I still got two. Oh, no way. Close oh, weight. weight. Oh, broke the weight off. Just leave that open for now. It's getting loaded in there, guys. You can see him digging right now. Oh, yeah. And then you just punch him. That's a good one. Jake's got a three-piece, a triple here. We're just in the dabs right now. Devin's in another one right here. I just is re-rigging another rod. We've had a couple small break-offs. Two. Oh, yeah. We're getting it loaded in the well. Oh, yeah, three studs. Oh, I dropped him. And he came down and he got hooked on the other hook. Oh, I dropped him. I just lifted him out of the water. And he fell off this middle hook right here between these two fish. Fell down, hooked himself on that tiny little sabiki J hook with this other fish. It's just like a rotation of guys reeling in fish. The rods are in the water for two seconds and you're already loaded. Like by the time it hits the bottom, you're in a fish. Same way like, like you're rock fishing. I'm oh good. yeah, Devin's in already. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh that's actually the best I've had. Two good ones. Two good ones? Yeah. Yeah, a real nice one on the bottom. My rod is just pumping back here. All right, I guess I got a reel in a fish. Oh, we're tripled up right now for sure. It's lights out. You drop down, fish are on. I got Duble. Nice, nice. Got the old double up right here. I do not know how many fish we have, but it's quite a few. Oh, one came off, one broke. I had one in the middle. Oh yeah. It got so light, only one. Ah, oh, reel in another sand dab here. Toad. That was a good one. Another nice sand dab. Can I have that electric reel back? No. This is six fish. Is it right there, dude? Oh, it's full load, full load. Oh, it's only a three. three. It it's a three-piece. Nice little three-piece right three there. Three studs. That's something you mount. We drifted too far off the school of sand dabs, so we're going to turn around to go back to where we started and make our drift again. I don't know how many fish we have. You guys are probably getting bored seeing us catch so many fish, but we're having fun, though. So, you guys, we were dropping down, and it was weird. My rod seemed like it was pulling line as it was going down. I think someone swam up and got that. Oh, nice. Yeah, two studs. Studs, baby. Studs, baby. Duble. So when we first started our drifts this morning, it was a little bit windy. This wind is picking up right now, and then also so is the tide. The tide is starting to push us off the coast, and right now our baits are drifting pretty fast. So we're going to add some more weight, see if we get back into them, because it's been a couple minutes since we've had some of those doubles and triples like earlier. Nice patrol -y. Right yeah. now, Jake's got one on. You got one on? Devin's got one on. We're trying to get 60 fish to end the day. Right now, we have 50, 57 or so. We might go a little past 60, but 
Well, we counted how many we had. We're like, all right, 60 is probably a good number. We might do a little bit more. Let's see what these guys got. Just a single. Single dab. Single, single. So this is what we're gonna finish the day on. Uh, I think it's 61 or 60 or 61. I think 62. 62 sand dabs. If we would have got out earlier, we probably could have caught hundreds of these things. We probably only fished for like what three hours or so. Three hours. Yeah, yeah three, quick, three quick amount of time. Hours. And at the very end of the day here, the wind and the tide has been going the same direction, so our drift was super fast, which is not ideal. But that's what we're gonna end the day on. Hope you guys like this video. We're gonna get on some halibut here pretty soon, probably next week. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.